What is crack a late in YouTube? I'm Dope. This is Dope Comics. Today we're going to talk the top 10 underappreciated Amazing Spider-Man books. To me, Spider-Man quit at 100. So all I ever talk about is 1 through 100. Don't know nothing about Morbius. Don't know nothing about no Venom. Don't know nothing about no Carnage. But today we're going to talk the most underappreciated books. So let's get popping. Number 10, most underappreciated book. Gotta go with 55. This looks like a, a work of art. This is something you'd see like Andy Warhol. Hey, take this dressing off. This looks like something you would see hanging like an Andy Warhol painting. This is beautiful. This is number 55. It's amazing, done by John Romita. I got John Romita to sign the lip. So, this is my 4.5. John signed this on Whoa, when did he sign this? On 5 2019. So a few years ago. And as you can see on the back, my kids got me this for my birthday. It says happy birthday by Aiden. That's me and Aiden walking around the city. And that's some buildings. So this is Amazing Spider-Man 55. 10th most underappreciated book in the run. It's probably my second favorite cover in the top 100. Spider-Man 55 and a 4.5. The ninth most unappreciated book. Whoa, pow! This is my favorite cover in the run. You can't beat 40. 40 looks like a, a poster every kid should hang up on his wall. I mean, it's beautiful. I love the flames. I love the green on his skin. He's popping down here. He looks defeated. You got the old Spider-Man with the net, the old web under his arm. So, how can you beat this? 966, Spider-Man number 40 and a 4.5. The ninth most underappreciated book in the run. Should be worth more. Eighth most unappreciated book in the run. Whoa, pow! The first Ramita ever. Ramita changed the game. The game wouldn't be the same about Ramita. Forget Dicko. Oh, dumb Dicko. He's okay, but he ain't no Ramita. Ramita's, Ramita's the reason Spider Man's where it's at today. He got it cracking late. All right. So, this is Amazing Spider Man 39 from 866. And as you can see, look at that beautiful greenish blue sky. You always see this. And Ramita started out on fire. This is the first Ramita. And the most unappreciated book, number seven on the countdown. Whoa, pow! The first Dicko. Or shit, the last Dicko. So... You know, sounds like a damn movie about a unicorn. The last Dicko. But Dicko was an artist that drew issue 2 through 38. First cover wasn't Dicko. A lot of people think it is, but it ain't. But anyway, so this is the first or the last Dicko. This is where he got pissed and walked off. And if you look, Dicko Spider-Man was always a little fatter. He was chubby during his first days. He was husky. That's what they told me when I had to go get them fat pants when I was a kid. You're a husky boy. So... This is 38 to 4.5, 766. And I, I like it because he's still got the webs in his armpits. But if you look, he is fatter. Dicko had a fatter Spider-Man. Or as people like to say in the daytime, plump. Six most underrated Spider-Man book. Whoa, plow! The greatest Dicko cover of all time. And some say might be the greatest Spider-Man story of all time. That makes this one the greatest books of all time. Why is this bitch so cheap? Don't know. But this is the number six book on the countdown. It's a 3.0. It's beautiful. It's my favorite Dicko. And if you look back here, he actually put detail in the background. That's something Dicko don't do. Dicko was lazy. But this one... I mean, this one, this is a beautiful book, iconic cover. 
Should be worth more than it is. All right. Number five. Number five book on the list for most disrespected, undervalued. Whoop! -ha! How you beat the enforcers? Love this cover. You know, Spider Man's legendary, and this is one of the first ten ever made. It's in the top ten. There's a lot of people who just want one through ten. You gotta have this one. This one don't look like the other nine. You know, it's got some dead beats on here. This people I see running around the trailer park. You got like a pimp guy, you got a tough guy, you got the loudmouth guy, it's always the littlest, but he's got these guys backing him up, and then you got the landlord. So, this one right here, the enforcers, 3.5, and it is six, oh hell, 364. And it is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 10 and a 3.5. <clears throat> First appearance of Big Man and the enforcers, Montana Ox. And don't forget about Fancy Dan. That's got to be Fancy Dan right there. It's always that little one running in his mouth. Because he's got that back up. This is number 10. I love this book. Everybody should love this book. How can you not love this book? Good book. The fourth most undervalued book. Underappreciated book. Oh, wow. Second appearance of Doc Ock. Number 11. He might look cheesy. He wearing his green sweater. Don't look too tough. He got that bowl cut. But, come on, man. Still Doc Ock. Second appearance. You know what I'm saying? Number three is so expensive. A lot of people can't get it now. So what do you need to go for? Second appearance. This is the book. Beautiful book. 3.5. Bought this a couple years ago. I think I got this and my number three at the same time. I did the, the the duo, the double banger. Give me number three and give me a second appearance at the same time. And I'm glad I did. Because now I don't want to buy neither one of them. They're too high. Shit. Come on now. Third most unappreciated book. If Doc Opp second appearance is fourth, well, you know it's got to be more important than that. That little green goblin. Green goblin second appearance. You also got Human Torch on here. Badass cover. This is a 3.0. This is Amazing Spider-Man 17. Why it took so long to get Doc Ock back in the book. But they knew what they had here. They knew where their bread was buttered. You know, you sit here and you got 14. A couple issues later, you got the second appearance. And this is also the first appearance of the Bat Glider. If you look at 14, he's on the broom glider. Broom glider only had one issue. It was his rinky dink. Failed all the time. Anytime he was running around trying to terrorize people, it was breaking down. He had to go get the bat glider. It's got the bat wings. See that? Much better than the broom glider. Broom glider, I mean, it wasn't scary. That's scary. It's a bat glider. So this is the first appearance of the bat glider. Second appearance of Green Goblin. Human Torch appearance. And... Damn, if CH didn't sign my book. So there you go. What the hell is them damn webs going to do? Just catch fire. You can't... Fucking cobwebs don't work when you're shooting fire. You can go out there to my damn fire pit and throw some spider webs on it and see what happens. That shit ain't going to do nothing, Spider-Man. Got to try. That ain't going to work. All right. The second most underappreciated book in the run... When I say run, it only goes one to 100. What pile? My big boss, man. There he is right there. First cover appearance of Kingpin. This is, this and 50 was the very first two Amazing Spider-Mans I bought with 129. Because I wanted the first Kingpin and I wanted the first Punisher. But I had to have this. 5.0. Why wouldn't he own a cover? I can't really not. Amazing Spider-Man 50. It's one of the greatest covers of all time. But come on. First appearance, put this man on the cover. Shit. He ain't messing around. And look, he did what Green Lantern couldn't... Oh, shit. He did what Green Goblin couldn't do. Green Goblin got his ass beat down. He was in the same pose. Big Daddy took care of him. Big Daddy put the Walla Wop on him. Look at that. He's waiting. He's wanting him to get up. He got his guys ready. The goons are ready. They ready. Spider-Man don't want none of that. 
So he's doing what all the mother boys couldn't do. 51, taking care of business, breaking necks and cashing checks. There it is. Second appearance of Kingpin. First cover appearance of Kingpin. John Romita, Stan Lee Story. Good black cover, 5.0. Love this book. Love it. Why ain't it worth more? This guy is in all kinds of stuff. We're fucking Hawkeye, Daredevil. He's all over the place. Spider-Man, Punisher. He is the ultimate villain. This book should be worth more. I don't even know what it's worth, but it should be worth more. I don't care about value, but it should be worth more. And the number one unappreciated book in the top one to 100 is this ugly creature right here. Wow! First appearance of Scorpion. Scorpion don't get the love that Electro gets. He don't get the love that, you know, Green Goblin gets. Or he don't get the love that Doc Ock gets. He don't even get the love. He's so much better than Lizard. How can he not get the love that Lizard gets? One reason, if you look at Dicko, remember I said he don't draw much in the background? He ain't too detailed oriented? Look at this down. Let's just put an ocean back here and make it just blue. And then we'll do just a, a plain ass sky. That ain't, I mean, then nothing has any kind of detail. It ain't the greatest cover. His second appearance is a better cover. But anyway, this is what you get. The most undervalued Amazing Spider-Man from 1 to 100 is this one. Undervalued, underappreciated, because that stupid-ass outfit he's got on, it looked like the Michelin Tire Man. I don't know what he's doing. And for some reason, his tail ain't hooked to his ass. It's hooked to his shoulder blades. Look at there. But anyway, the most undervalued book right here. So, there we go. We finished the wrap 12 minutes. That's what I like to do. Uh, keep them short and sweet. If you like what you're seeing, smash that like button. Subscribe today. Come back in a couple days and we'll have a nothing for you. I was putting them out every day, but now I'm going to go about twice a week. You know, now that I got some content built up for y'all to watch. So, that's it. If you like what you see, see you next time. Pew, pew.